In this video, I'll be taking you to the Grimwald Place Harry Potter farming location. So first, I thought I'd start at King's Cross, because it is actually the nearest train station. And you'll see in just a moment, so from Google Maps, here's King's Cross. And the reason I thought most Harry Potter fan would visit, because of course, the Harry Potter shop at Platform 9 3 quarters. Worth a visit if you can get in. It's quite a straightforward walk, literally down this road. And Google Maps advises it takes about 14 minutes, so bear that in mind until you reach this corner here, which is Claremont Square. Just a funny to note that you actually pass a Rodney Street, which has nothing to do with this, but I just thought it was funny because my name is Rodney. <laughs> you reach this corner, which is Claremont Square, and I'll take you down as you walk down this street, which is just like a little walk down, and you turn the corner, which is still Claremont Square, which I will also show you until you reach Grimmauld Place, which actually is 25 Claremont Square. <laughs> so starting off at King's Cross, which I did actually go along this walk, you turn down this road and it's down that road over there by the McDonald's, which is, I did do a close up, it's actually Pentonville Road. It's not an ad for McDonald's, just showing you which way to go. You walk down this road until you reach Claremont Square and when you reach Claremont Square, you walk along this road, which I show you here along with Google Maps, until you, until you reach this corner. When you turn the corner, you will see Grimmauld Place there, which I'm about to show you. So here's Claremont Square, which you reach that corner. And as you look to your right, there is the farming location, which it doesn't look quite as magical and spooky, but if you don't believe me, I'll prove it to you in just a moment. I did take some screen grabs with me. So this is when we first arrive at the scene. As you can see, they cross the path. There is actually a gate and a little park with trees. And my goodness, it's hard to line these up. I still don't know how people do it, but I try my best. Hopefully you get the idea. But there is the filming location. So that's pretty exciting that they... I think they use this as inspiration. I don't think I actually filmed here, but they, I don't know, digitally recreated this whole area. So I don't know how they did it but some people say that it wasn't a film job some people say it was i don't actually know but i'll show you how it all matches up in just a moment as we walk closer to the area this is grimoire place now before we go a little bit closer into the filming shots that are there let me show you this little park opposite with the trees where they land on their broomsticks with the order as you walk down so you see there's actually no gate on this side it's actually only a little further way down that there's a gate so Maybe this is why people think that possibly it wasn't filmed yet, or maybe it wasn't filmed yet. I don't know how they do movie magic, but here is the gate that they pass through. So there is a gate and there is a park that they cross. But enough about the gate, back to the filming shots. So here is me trying to line it up again from the film. So this is before it is revealed. You can see that I thought I'd just hold it here out of shot so you can actually see the location. There's a lamp, there's like a drain pipe there. And this is before it's revealed, so you can see it's between the this area here. Trying to match it up is incredibly difficult. Now, after it's revealed, so you can see the little the windows with light are moved to the left, so closer to the lamp post. So now this is Grimmauld Place revealed. The location didn't change, so <laughs> this is just to show you what it looks like. So here you can see the lamp. There's the lamp there. And then between that, you can see here is the drain pipe that you try and match up. So this is where I think they use that as a place where they can use the CGI to move it along. Very clever using the drain pipe as that kind of placeholder. Now later on in the film, we return at Christmas. This seems pretty much a shot for shot again in Incredibly difficult to line up, but you get the idea. This is where they, I think they definitely used this area to film with. Because the whole street is there, it's covered in snow. It looks very much the same. But here is the area here. And you can almost not see the number. I don't know if that's intentional, but it like disappears on the thing. But when you go a little bit closer, you can see it is 25 Claremont Square. I really hope you've enjoyed seeing these film shots. 
here's my best attempt lining them up. As you can see, it's a little bit complicated. I don't really have the wide lenses that these filmmakers do have, but I try my best. All of the links will be included in the members area. So you can just click on the image and it'll take you right to the Google map location. So if you do visit these, let me know and hopefully have a magical time.